G'day, this is Scotty Tucker from Clearwater Lakes and Ponds here today to talk to you about the Aerolator Carnival aerating fountain. So these units are commonly used in uh, sort of ornamental decorative sort of situations where you want both the benefits of aeration and the uh, water cleansing uh, features that aeration provides in a, in a dam, but you also want something uh, somewhat decorative so that you can have a, a nice display as well. So the Carnival is the combination of two, and why, why that's a combination of two is that it uses a propeller, so similar to uh, our more industrial uh, aerating type of units, the aquarium product from Aerolator. The Carnival has a propeller, but the propeller is then pushed up through a nozzle so that you get a, uh, an effect similar to like an upside down cone. So it, it moves just a little bit less water than the aerators, but it has the benefit of the, of the decoration aspect. Now, with any other type of uh, aerating fountain, or all aerating fountains basically should look like an upside down cone. Uh, if it doesn't look like that, they're most likely to be using a, an impeller driven system or a centrifugal pump driven system and pushing it through a fancier nozzle. So when you start talking about sort of three tier noz fountain nozzles and something that's uh, you know, a lot more fancy, chances are it's not actually an aerating fountain because it's using an impeller rather than a propeller. And the difference to that is if you, you picture a, an impeller, say like on a swimming pool pump and how much water that moves, compared to a boat prop on an outboard motor and how much more water that moves, you're talking about a lot more water getting moved with the propeller system. So the Carnival has the, the best of both worlds. It's got the, uh, uh, the aeration as well as the decoration. So these units that they're allowed to do are very well manufactured. They've got uh, maintenance in mind. They're very easy to install. So the unit itself just drops down into the float. This one here is the largest of the unit, the five horsepower. But there's nothing that, that secures that unit inside the float. It is able to be lifted up and just pulled out. Uh, it also has an electrical quick disconnect on the top. And what you do is this uh, opposing connection here would be running out to your mains power supply. And that simply connects onto the float up to there. You just hand tighten that, uh, that there once it goes in and you've got a watertight connection. And that's useful when you want to do maintenance. You don't, you then uh, just come along and disconnect this here, pull the pump unit out. You don't have to drag the float and the wire back all the way into, into shore. Uh, the large 40 inch float also have, has recesses built in for optional lights. And again, something quite unique to the Aerolator lighting system is that the, there's a transformer which sits on top of the float. And what that means is that you're able to piggyback the power from the motor into the transformer and use the single cable running back to shore. So you don't have to run a second cable for your lights. It's all done uh, on the float itself. Aerolator lights also have a photo cell, which means that they will automatically turn on and off according to the, the natural daylight levels. Uh, the float also has similar anchor nuts around the inside uh, of, the, of the circular uh, cutout. And what that enables you to, to do is that if this goes into a situation where you've got lots of rubbish, debris, shopping bags that potentially can come in and, and cause damage to the unit, you can do your own aftermarket uh, screen filter just by simply rolling either a piece of stainless metal or even plastic where you've got say an inch by inch sort of uh, uh, gardening type plastic uh, and you can have that cylinder around the inside. Uh, drop it down about 500 deep and don't put a bottom on it so that the water can still draw in even if it's it's gunked up with shopping bags. But uh, having said that, it's, it's pretty extreme when you need to do that. In most cases, you don't actually need to do that at all. The unit itself, with its normal spray operation, pushes the debris away. Uh, I'll also just show you the smallest of the units. So this is a, uh, a three-quarter horsepower unit. Uh, these units don't have the uh, electrical quick disconnect. Reason being is that they're generally going into smaller ponds and the motor cable is just joined with the cable that runs out to shore and that just plugs into a normal standard domestic power point. But you can see there the Aerolator unit uses a, a Franklin Electric uh, stainless steel motor. So very, very good quality motor. Uh, the propeller sits underneath the nozzle. This is the nozzle that I was talking about. So the water gets thrown up here and comes out in, a, in an upside down conical sort of effect. So the Aerolator Carnival, really good where you want that combination of aeration and decoration. Now let's take a look at a three horsepower Carnival in action.